everybody welcome back to another vlog i might have chocolate in my teeth drew just told me i had chocolate on my face that i just got off but just housed a chocolate croissant it was delicious and i'm actually headed out to go meet up with my friend kara who's one of my childhood friends who lives out here in la we're gonna have a nice little coffee date wait do i have chocolate on my face Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna have a nice little coffee day. We're gonna take a walk. It's actually like so nice out this morning. It's actually the first few days that we haven't had any rain. So we're gonna take advantage. We we're just gonna like meet up and hang out in a coffee shop since it's been so rainy. But now it's nice out. So we're gonna like grab a coffee, take a walk around town. I'm driving out to an area called Westwood Village, which is like near where UCLA is. And it's always really cute every time I go there. So we're gonna check it out. Let's go. <laughs> finished up with Kara that was lovely we took a nice probably like 30 minute walk but we sat in the coffee shop for like an hour or so before that and just chatted and caught up it was wonderful and now because I'm right next to where Trader Joe's is I think I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's because it brings me joy it sparks joy and it makes me really happy we don't need anything at all like we don't need to go grocery shopping but it just it feels like something I want to do so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna follow my heart as they say so let's go to Trader Joe's to my friend um, at Trader Joe's, so that was great. But the first thing I got was this basil. This smells intoxicating to me, and we use basil in a lot of different things, so that'll be good. We got some romaine lettuce to make like taco salads and all sorts of things. Got some bananas. This is not that exciting. There isn't like any new funky stuff that I'm trying. <laughs> so sorry if this is boring, but I thought I would show you what I got anyways. We got some Colby Jack snack sticks like string cheese, but with Colby Jack, way better in my opinion. I got a Power Crunch French Vanilla Cream Bar. This is like a wafery kind of protein bar. It's actually really good, so I got that. I got a couple of these fruit things. So I got an apple and strawberry fruit bar. It's like dried apples and strawberries. And then I got some fruit leathers. I wanna see one right here. This one is apple wild berry flavored. Delish. Then we got some spicy Italian sausage. I'm obsessed with this pasta. It's basically like sausage, zucchini, summer squash, pesto, and then like whatever pasta you want. So decided to try something new. We got some salmon. We are still, what, two plus, maybe three years later doing the like Emily Mariko salmon bowls. It's literally just like salmon, cucumber, avocado, seaweed sriracha, cupy mayo. It's delish. We got some black beans. We got some chai mix. This is what Drew has. It's actually like a concentrate. He has it in his coffee for like 30 chais. I got some of these maple puffers, mini pancake puffs. I am so sorry. I wanna say these are like Dutch and I don't know how to speak Dutch, I'm so sorry. But we had these in the air fryer recently and they were delish, so we requested more. Next, we've got some tortilla chips. These are the best. They're really thick, but they have a little bit of lime on them, so they're delicious. I got Drew some of these chumps. We've got the jalapeno beef stick and the turkey. He likes those, they're like Slim Jims basically. Got a wafer cookie with peanut butter. Again, that's for Drew. Oh. Something's falling. These are delish if you're into wafery kind of things. And then I got these almond butter cups because peanut butter still tastes rank to me, unfortunately. I got some eggs. 
Got some brown eggs. These look delish. I want to start like trying to eat more eggs because they're good for you. And we got a salad mix. I'm going to have this for lunch. We'll see. This is the sesame crunch chopped salad kit. It has bok choy, cabbage, more cabbage, carrots, sesame sticks, cashews, nori, and toasted sesame ginger vinaigrette. And then I'll just like throw some chicken on there. That would be good. Got some grated Parmesan cheese. Love this kind. This is like for like pizza and stuff. And then the shredded ones for pasta. Got some Thai style yellow curry sauce. This is a classic. We make this all the time. You basically put like pepper and onion in a pan, like bell pepper and onion. And then you cook that down and then you cook some chicken and then you pour that on it and like let it simmer and then pour it over rice. It's great. Got some salsa verde. This is always a classic in our household. It's really, really good. Got an avocado that is quite literally rock hard. It is so hard, so it needs some time. We got a yellow bell pepper. I think I also got a red one in here somewhere. Got some soft and juicy mango. I can only have like one or two of these because it will give me violent gas and other things. Oh, here we go. Here's the other fruit stuff. We have an apple strawberry dried fruit leather. We have an apple raspberry. Why not? I think this is another apple raspberry. Yes, delicious. And then we have grape mango flavored fruit leather buttons. I don't know. They just seemed interesting. So I thought, let's try them. We got a little red pepper. I want to try this snack that I saw on TikTok, which I'll show you in a second. We got some avocados number. Oh my God, I remember when this stumped me last time? <laughs> Um, these are just little baby guacamoles. Got that. We've got some ground turkey for like taco bowls or spaghetti or whatever. Got some Persian cucumbers. These are delicious. Drew makes them into like a cucumber salad with like gochujang, soy sauce, mirin, all that good stuff. Got three cans of tuna because Drew says that Trader Joe's tuna is the best. So we got the albacore white tuna. Been having that for lunch. Oh, a lot these days. We have some more chili onion crunch. I didn't know if we needed more of this, but it's shelf stable pretty much. So this is good on like eggs, meat, like literally everything. It's so good. I got this everything but the elote seasoning because I thought it would be good for more kind of like Mexican style dishes that we cook. So that'll be good. And also for a recipe that I'll show you in a minute. I got this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. This is like the best pesto that you can get in store. It's seriously so good. Got another um, Caesar dressing. This is a good one. It's kind of like less super thick and creamy and more like vinaigrette-ish and I like it. And then last but not least, I got cottage cheese. I have never had cottage cheese before in my life and it's really having a moment right now on TikTok and I've never tried it. So I thought, let's try it together. I saw a recipe where it just looked so crunchy and good. You cut up like a bell pepper into slices. You put some of this cottage cheese on it and then you put everything but the elote. I think that's what it was. And then everything but the bagel seasoning. And apparently it's delicious. So we might have to try that later. But yeah, that's my Trader Joe's haul. That's what I got. It's been a lovely morning. It's about actually like 11.30. I need to like crack on with some work because either my friend is coming over tonight or I'm going to her house or we're going out to like a wine bar, a local wine bar. So I need to make sure I get some work done before then. But yeah, it's been a great morning so far. Good evening, everybody. It's um, the next day. It's actually like 6.15 p.m. If you can hear sizzling sounds in the background, Drew is making us some dinner and I'm actually getting ready to go out after dinner to get some drinks with my friend Molly, Molly Burke from YouTube. She's in LA right now and we've been trying to get together for a while now, so I'm so excited to finally meet her. It's one of the reasons I love living here is because I can like meet my internet friends in real life. It's so exciting and so fun. So we're gonna go to the Grove and like get a couple drinks, I think. And I'm just doing like a simple makeup look today, nothing crazy. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like a fun color eyeliner tonight or if I just wanna go simple. I'm thinking I might just go simple. I'm kind of like short on time. That's usually when I decide I'm gonna do something like totally unique and different. I just did my hair. This is what my hair is looking like post extensions. So like, it's back to normal. It was nice having luxurious locks there for a little bit, but I hated the feeling of it. Like I like being able to run my hands through my hair. I like being able to shampoo like this. I like being able to brush my hair out whenever I want. So it was fun while it lasted, but yeah, all good things must come to an end. I just realized I still have dry shampoo in my hair. <laughs> Oopsies. 
I was like, I'll let that sit for a little bit. You probably can't see it from there, but uh, you can definitely see it from here. So anyways, yeah, like I was saying, my overall opinion of extensions were that they were fun. It was fun while it lasted. I've just always been curious about it. And I have really been noticing my hair thinning a lot lately. And I don't know if that's like a hormonal thing. I don't know if it's since having COVID. I don't know if it's because I bleached my hair a lot last year. I have no idea, but um, I just thought about the fact that I might stink, so I'm putting on some deodorant. So it was nice to just sort of have like some more fullness in there, but I just don't, it's not for me. It's not to say I would never get them again in the future, but for right now, I'm just gonna go with the natural hair. I actually, in like a couple weeks, have a big hair change coming up. I'm gonna do this change and then I think I'm good for a while. <laughs> This is so hard to do and talk at the same time. So anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Drew's gonna make us some dinner. We're gonna maybe watch Love Island if we have enough time. I don't know if we do. And then we're gonna go off to meet Molly, so let's do it. Drew made us dinner. Look how good it looks. It's enough for a small village. All right, dinner was delicious and we were rudely interrupted by Moo having a vomiting spell, but it's okay, we survived. <laughs> Kinda lost our appetite after that. I am just now finally ready and we're gonna head out. I'm gonna call my Uber, I'm gonna head to the Grove. Hopefully it won't be too bad with traffic, we'll see. And here is my outfit of the night. So I have this leather jacket again that I think I thrifted but I might've gotten it from Target, I'm not sure. And then underneath, I have this Abercrombie sweater bodysuit. And then I actually just got these trousers. They're similar to a pair that I had that were from H&M, but these are from Old Navy and I got them in a size long. So they're just a little bit, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I literally just got a different pair, but they just fit so much better. I like them because they're a lot longer. And then these boots I've had forever. I want to say I got them at like Express, maybe four or five years ago. Oh, and then this little clip because this piece of hair was pissing me off and I wanted it out of my face. So I decided to go with this clip that's from um, Lisa says ga. I got it probably like two years ago, and that's my outfit of the night. Hello. Hi. How are you? Just made it to the Grove. The fountains are looking beautiful, and it's actually cold outside. I'm a few minutes early, so I'm just gonna like pop into some stores because I'm genuinely freezing. Also, it was so sweet because Drew is very serious on like safety when I go on Ubers. And so I always like send him my location and like let him track the ride or whatever. And then like right when I got into the Uber, um, usually is like when I send him like, okay, made it in, like I'm all good. Here's my ride, my trip status, whatever. And um, I actually, something like went wrong with my phone and it like froze so he was like panicking i had to restart my phone anyways it's all good we made it molly and i are getting drinks at a place called alma in the grove i think drew and i've ha actually had like appetizers here once and a couple drinks so it should be really good i'm getting wet from the fountains i'm gonna go inside and go meet up with molly I just got home. I don't want to wake up Drew because he's in bed sleeping, but I had such a good night with Molly. It was so nice. We like clicked instantly. I knew we would, obviously. It was such a good time. So really, really enjoyed spending the evening with her. And now I'm going to go to bed. So I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hello everyone, it's actually a couple days later and it's Friday, I'm so excited. It's like not quite lunchtime yet, I just got out of the bath, did a nice full routine, like fully washed my hair, did like a scalp oil beforehand, scrubbed, like did a whole body exfoliation, I'll probably fake tan a little bit, feeling good. But anyways, I'm gonna make a little snack and I saw this snack on TikTok and it doesn't really seem like something I would like, but um, oh, by the way, sorry if you can hear the laundry. Drew's doing some laundry, but anyways, um, I'm 35 years old and I've never tried cottage cheese as I mentioned earlier in this vlog. I'm just so like perplexed by just the texture. I have literally never had it. It's never touched my lips. And I saw this snack on TikTok where you like slice up a bell pepper, you put a little cottage cheese in it, and then you put some seasoning like I mentioned. You do everything but the bagel and also everything but the elote. 
I'm pretty sure, but now I can't find the TikTok. I'm almost positive that's what it was. And supposedly it's a delicious snack. And I had always seen cottage cheese paired with like fruit and stuff. And so I was just like, ooh, I don't want like clumpy cheese with my fruit. But I feel like it's time to try it. And I don't know what, I think I expected it to taste like yogurt or something. And then one day Drew was like, it tastes like cheese. And I was like, Sorry, what? <laughs> like I thought it was gonna taste like sour cream or something. And he was like, no, it literally tastes like cheese. And I was like, I need to try this. So he's already had some, um, but I'm gonna try it. Ugh. The texture really is freaking me out, but I'm just gonna try it by itself. So let's see how it is. I'm gonna get like this much. I don't know if that's too much. I haven't even smelled it or anything, so I have no idea what to expect. Cheers. Yeah, I want this <laughs> okay, here I go. Oh. I hate it. You don't like it? It's the texture that I can't deal with. I see why. I saw somewhere on TikTok Wonder. that some people blend it. Because the texture is like soft tofu. Mm. I like it. I'll try it one more time. Maybe just by itself. But yeah, it tastes mm -hmm. like a mild cheese. So, we're gonna chop up this bell pepper into like little slices, I guess. You wanna try some? A pie bite. Like a boat. Like a boat. We'll see. Maybe like mixed with everything else, it'll be good. I think it was the initial shock, but like mm, the texture. You've never had it before. No, that was literally my first time ever eating it. But yeah, it does kind of just taste like cheese. Mm -hmm. So like not a, what I expect. Like a um, milky. Mm -hmm. So before I cut up this entire bell pepper and do this to everything, I'm gonna take my little boat, put mm. <laughs> some cottage cheese in it. I'm not gonna do too much. Like enough, you know. So you do like that, okay? Then supposedly you put everything but the elote seasoning, and then everything but the bagel seasoning. These are both <gasps> from Trader Joe's. I obviously showed this in this vlog, and then this is what this one looks like. In case you haven't heard of it, I'm scared. All right, here is what she looks like. No, not my face. This. There it is. Cheers. Another TikTok snack for the books. You like it? Bell pepper is like such a strong flavor. I don't know how I feel about the elote seasoning, like on this, but it is good. I'll eat it. You want to try it? Here. Give us your thoughts. If there's one thing Drew will do, it's give you his honest thoughts. And most of the time he doesn't like it. He's chewing. It's not bad. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't taste much cheese. It's mostly just bell pepper. I you taste know. the elote seasoning. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like the bell pepper. It's okay. I'm gonna give it like a six and a half, seven out of 10. Like it's not like amazing. We will use the rest of this pepper tonight when we make taco salad for dinner. But um, I know I'm glad I tried it. I'm gonna give it just one final sample. You should try blending it. But then it you I think that's would, what I'm gonna do. I don't think you'd like it. I saw this girl on TikTok who takes her cottage cheese, puts it in her like blender, and then puts it in like an omelet or something, so that it like adds more protein and everything to the omelet. So that's what I'll probably do, because this is a massive tub. This was the smallest one they had, or the only one they had at Trader Joe's. So this just feels like a lot, but we'll get through it. So anyways, okay, I tried. I feel like most of the time with TikTok, like trends or recipes that I see going around that either go super viral or just come across my for you page, I, like most of the time I'm like, it's okay, but it feels a little overhyped and that felt a little bit overhyped. If you're in the mood for something fresh and you wanna try it out, I would recommend it. I don't know if it's like what my go-to snack would be. Mine is chips. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd rather have like some chips and guac or something, but like still good. Anyway, I'm actually gonna take the rest of today off. Um, it's just been a long week of like a lot of social plans and a lot of like work stuff and I'm just gonna rest and enjoy it. So I'm taking a half day today. Really, I've taken like a whole day off. So that is gonna do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.